Alright, so a little quick video on the camper. I uh, cleaned it all out, dried it out, put it away for the winter. It's the end of August here in Wisconsin, 2021, and uh, we're done camping for the year. So, I'm getting it ready for winter, and I've discovered a problem, and I hope it shows up on video. just some more flex seal. Uh, well, take a look at what's going on over here. Right here. You see that guy? I just cut around it. It's just white powdery stuff. See that? It's just a, it's all loose. And this was a aluminum that I painted, that was painted original factory. And then I painted it with Rust-Oleum uh, oil-based paint. And then I painted it with the uh, Flex Seal. And in certain spots, I'm getting this powdery stuff, and it's like, and it's a hole in the aluminum. I hope you can see this okay. See the hole I'm digging? If I dig far enough, you can start seeing green. That's the foam insulation right underneath the aluminum. I'm going to just clean it out, put a piece of tape on it. And I wonder if there's just trapped moisture in there that uh, for some reason is causing the aluminum to dissolve like this. That's it. Got another one here. I'm putting a piece of painter's tape on it so I don't forget where it is and it will hopefully keep the rain out in case it rains. So. this one here. And there is a little pinhole that's in there that's letting moisture out and above the surface because underneath the aluminum there's some bluish green insulation that was soaking wet when I bought this camper and then I totally sealed it in and now the moisture is trying to find any escape it can. At least that's what I'm telling myself. So, um, that tape on all the spots that are giving me trouble. Uh, I'm going to come back and 
seal those up. The tape is there to remind me where the holes are. So, um, oh well. I think I'm going to spot fix each one of these and then recoat the entire camper top with another uh, layer of flex seal. So what happened here, you can see these divots, I don't know if they show up on the camera, but this thing was in a hailstorm. Here, here's a divot right here, maybe you can see. It's full of dirt. So that's a divot from a hailstorm. And if you look really closely down the, the camper, you can see all sorts of dents. So the flex seal did a pretty good job of filling most of it in. And I don't know if you can see the pattern um, that the flex seal went and filled in all the low spots. And that was two coats of flex seal. I think I'm going to do a third. Clean it really good and uh, seal up all the little holes I have. And then I'm going to do a third layer. See how that works. And uh, I'll bring it back. Alright, so I have a hole here that I'm going to fix with the JB Weld Marine Weld. Uh, so it's a two part epoxy, just mix, mix it together, fill in the holes, and uh, we should be good to go. Alright, I know it's hard to see. You can kind of see the uh, wrinkle here. That's the epoxy. So I'm going to let that dry. You can kind of see the spots in the roof where I did things. So now I can let this dry. Then I can scrub this top really clean without water getting inside the holes. Once I get it really clean, I'll put another layer of uh, flex seal over the whole thing. Sorry, I was unable to finish this camper with the third coat of Flex Seal this season. But I thought about it, and I have to store it over the winter, which means I'll have to clean it in spring. And so I'm going to finish it in the spring. So keep an eye out. Bye-bye.